Hey, what's up everybody, it's OP24 here, and today I'm going to be showing you five unique ways you can build redstone clocks in your Minecraft world. So, anyway, well, think of it this way. Redstone machines are great, but if you need one continuously, you don't want to have to constantly keep flicking a lever. So you need a redstone clock. These are the top five ways I've found to do that. So, getting into number one, what you're going to need is one stone, one redstone torch, one repeater, and three redstone dust. Well, the stone could be whatever block you choose. And the stuff in the bottom right of the chest is optional. See, this stuff right here is all optional, but this stuff is stuff you're going to need. This I'm just grabbing, well, grabbing the trapdoor so we have something to power. Anyway, the way you make it is you take one piece of whatever block you want, and just place it down, of course. And you set a redstone repeater going into it. Hang on. Got a... screwed up already. That's not what I... What am I doing? There, there's a pickaxe. Okay, I guess we're using cobblestone for this one. So you just place down your block wherever you feel like it. Great. And... Place your redstone repeater on three tick delay going into the block. Then take your three redstone dust, and lead one out from the back of it, and around like so. Then place your redstone torch, and there you go. It's working. Now all you have to do is lead your redstone trail around to the trap door. Or whatever you're going to power. And this can easily be turned off by just placing a lever on the block and activating it. See? I'm going to leave it off because that trapdoor is going to be a little noisy for the rest of the video. Anyway. For the second one, all you're going to really need is four redstone dust and four redstone repeaters. Plus, of course, something to power it. I mean, something that you're going to try to activate, which, of course, is going to be an oak trapdoor again. Anyway, now what you're going to want to do is place down your repeaters, like so, and a piece of redstone dust between each of them. Then place down any kind of power source by one of the pieces, and just flip it on and off really quickly. And you see, started the clock. Then you just... Hang on. There. Now, if that's going too fast for you, what you can do is you can just set these to a lower, uh, to a slower time, like so. And there is actually a way that I've come up with to stop this if you need to. Just gotta move some of that redstone. Anyway, it's kind of it's kind of finicky though. What you need to do is place a repeater like so, going into this one, and then one going into here. And I'm gonna have to get rid of this fence quickly. And one more. So then, what you do is you just lead the redstone between the repeaters and then with any with a lever place it here and now you're going to want to try to click it right when the redstone reaches that repeater this repeater right here oh oh no um 
Just gotta restart that quickly. So, see if that will stop it, because it'll lock the signal in this one and make it not go to this one. Then when you click it again, it starts again. See if you stop it at that one, it'll create make the signal longer, delaying it, making a weirder delay. There. As I said, this one's a little fiddly if you want to try to turn it on and off. It's a little finicky to turn this one on and off, so I wouldn't recommend that. I'd recommend if you just if you want to turn it off, just break one of the redstone connecting to the thing. Anyway. Yeah. That's really what you need right there. Again, if I, I recommend if you want to turn it off, just break a piece of redstone that's not on that. Like so. Alright. Okay, so for the third one is a really simple one, but can be a little complex. Can, well, let me rephrase that. It can be complex to get the required parts for this. What you do is, of course, you're going to try to power that. So whatever you're trying to power, place redstone here, here, and here. That one's not necessary. That's just leading into it. Let's see. Like. And just place redstone comparator here. Which might be a little hard to get since it requires you to get nether quartz. Meaning you have to go to the nether, meaning you have to get obsidian, meaning you have to find diamonds before you can do this. But it's really fast. Just place the lever. And as you can see right now it doesn't do anything, but then if you right click it, set it to subtract mode. It will cause the clock to activate. See, it's so fast that the trap. See, this one's so fast, the trap door doesn't even catch the signal. Constant. It doesn't even catch the full signal. It doesn't even catch the clock signal. Anyway, then number four here is actually one of my own creations. You need two redstone torches and, well, you can see what you need right there. And this is actually one I showcased in my last redstone tutorial video. So, it's basically the same as, it's kind of, does the same thing as this, the same speed. It's a little bigger, but, as I said, it's kind of hard to get nether quartz to make the comparator. This one's a lot more survival friendly if you haven't found diamonds or gone to the nether yet. So, what you're going to want to do is place down a block. I'm just going to place that there for now. Oh. Okay, I did not know I could do that. Anyway, then place a piece of redstone on top of it. Then two redstone torches to the sides. Actually, on any side, you could place it here, even, but I'm just going to set it there so you can more easily see what's happening. Place a block there, and another one there. And that'll activate the burnout clock. Then just lead your trail from here. turn it off, just build this going into that block, and that will turn off the clock, which is a good thing because
because as you just heard, even without the trapdoor moving, it is extremely noisy. Anyway. Then, this last one is also my own design, but well, I've not really seen anyone else use it. But it's so simple that I'd be surprised if no one else has come up with this. That's how simple it is. Anyway, all you need is two observer blocks. That's all. Just place them so that the faces go into each other. So you see now they're both constantly sending out redstone signals. That's all you need to do to make the clock. Now grab the optional stuff, now you just need redstone from it. From either end of it. So you can see. It's got two different sides you can activate the stuff on. And this one's a little different if you want to have it toggleable. You'll have to set a, pist a sticky piston right here, one block away from it, with a lever next to it. Now when you pull that, it'll pull that observer back. And to turn it back on, just push it back into place. said it's really simple doesn't require much at all of course this you also have to get another quartz quite a bit of it actually still once you do and it's extremely compact if you don't have the toggle system on it will only take out that two block space anyway that's gonna do it for this video guys hope you all enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a like and you can subscribe Press the bell so you don't miss any of my other videos. Also, if you have any ideas for stuff I should do in the future, whether more tutorials you want to see, or if you guys want to see me do map or mod showcases, just leave it in the comments below. Anyway guys, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!